Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to enable two-factor authentication in cPanel. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First of all, we will see the prerequisites of it. First one is you should have root access to your VPS or dedicated server. Second one is you should have a smartphone with a supported time-based one-time password app. In order to enable two-factor authentication in cPanel, you need to perform the following steps. Step 1. Enable two-factor authentication from the WHM panel. Step 2. Configure two-factor authentication in cPanel account. Important note, if you have a Linux shared hosting account then you should ask your service provider to enable two-factor authentication from the WHM panel. Let's see the steps in detail. Step 1. Enable two-factor authentication from the WHM panel. In order to enable two-factor authentication, you need to log in into your WHM panel. Enter the WHM credential in the respective field. Here, we have used our demo account to log in into the WHM panel. Click on the login button to log in into it. Congratulations, you are successfully logged into your WHM panel. Go to the upper left side of the screen, and click on the search box. Type Security Center. Once you type it, it will appear below. Go to the bottom of the screen. Select two-factor authentication, and click on it. By clicking on it, a two-factor authentication window will be opened. By default, it will be disabled for the WHM as well as for cPanel account. You can identify it by a color. If it is showing red color, it means that it is disabled. If it is showing green color then it means it is enabled. Click on the off button to enable the two-factor authentication security policy. Once you click on it, it will be enabled. You will also get a pop that the two-factor authentication security policy is now enabled. Next is the issuer. In this text box, you can modify the name of the associated service provider if you like. Here, we have entered whm.demovpstest.com as an example. Click on the Save button to save it. By clicking on it, you will get a message in the pop-up that the system successfully saved the issuer name. It means that the issuer name is saved. Step 2. Configure two-factor authentication in cPanel account. To configure two-factor authentication, you should link your cPanel account and your two-factor authentication app. cPanel supports the following two-factor authentication apps. For Android, iOS, and BlackBerry Google Authenticator. For Android and iOS Duo Mobile. For Windows Phone Authenticator. There are two ways to connect the app. First one is automatically create the link by scanning the displayed QR code with your app. Second one is manually create the link by entering the provided account and key information in your app. Let's see the steps in details. 
Log in into your cPanel account with the provided login details. Here, we have used our demo account details to log in into the cPanel account. Click on the login button to log in into it. Congratulations, you are successfully logged in into your cPanel account. Scroll down the screen. Go to the security section. Select the two-factor authentication and click on it. Once you click on it, a window will be opened with the name two-factor authentication. Click on the button set up two-factor authentication to set up two-factor authentication for your cPanel account. By clicking on it, you will get QR code. Scan this QR code using your smartphone with the Google Authentication app. You can download Google Authentication app from the Play Store in your Android phone. The Google Authentication will use the smartphone camera in order to view the QR code. If you do not have a QR code reader, there is the option to manually configure the two-factor authentication within your app by using the blue box titled Don't Have a QR Code Reader. Enter the following information to manually configure two-factor authentication in your app. Here, we have used scan the QR code method to configure it. We are going to scan the QR code with Google Authenticato. Our app through our smartphone. Go to step 2. Enter the security code generated by your two-factor authentication app in the security code field. Please note that you must enter the security code within 30 seconds. After time expires, the app will generate a new six-digit code. After then click on the Configure Two-Factor Authentication button. Once you click on it, it will be configured, and you will get a message on the screen that two-factor authentication is now configured on your account. Let's check it out. In order to check it, we need to log out first. Enter the credential of the cPanel account in the respective field. Click on the login button to log in into it. Once you click on it, it will ask you to enter the security code for login into it. It means that two-factor authentication is enabled for your cPanel account. Enter the security code in the security code field. And click on the continue button to log in into the cPanel account. Congratulations, you are successfully logged in into your cPanel account with two-factor authentication. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to enable two-factor authentication in cPanel. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, Please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video.
Please subscribe to our Telegram channel AccuWeb Hosting where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.